alcohol can cause you a lot of problems and these are the problems that actually come in with alcohol we have the coma when you, you, are, you are highly intoxicated with alcohol coma is coming in you can actually die from it because of dehydration because of uh, low glucose levels okay and build up of fat in the system and all that clogging of the arteries you know that so alcohol can bring you a coma and death can bring you strokes and heart attacks alcohol causes dehydration therefore kidney problems are coming in alcohol can suppress your respiratory centers so when you take alcohol over a long period of time you will end up suppressing uh, the respiratory centers even high levels of alcohol they will suppress your breathing centers and now you have problems okay and when you take alcohol in one night because most of us want to take a whole one liter of that jack daniels bottle and just clear it in one night that is a problem it wasn't designed to be finished in one night okay and then of course we start from mild symptoms of intoxication like nausea and vomiting and then double vision impaired judgment we also have the hangovers after the metabolism of alcohol and this is coming in because of accumulation of acetaldehyde but these are the extreme ones when you are totally intoxicated with alcohol so again these are basically the symptoms of alcohol intoxication now look at it this way we have methanol that we've actually said it is competing with receptor uh, for receptors with ethanol and ethanol outweighs it also the two are competing for this enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase and this ethanol has high affinity for this enzyme that means it will be easier for you to do away with toxification of methanol through using uh, ethanol okay number two there's a danger in people taking alcohol and still going ahead to take metronidazole that is fragile in our markets so if you go ahead and take that drug that is used for uh, vaginitis for ladies or vaginosis that is used for uh, gut problems like amoeba and all that that flagyl or metronidazole is a medicine that is designed to heal those conditions however there's a reason why you are told do not take flagyl with alcohol and that reason is this you see this pathway that alcohol follows to get you all these problems all these issues to basically all this uh, the end result is atp or water and co2 to excel them out look at this this way Flagyl, or there's a drug called also disulfiram, the one that actually was used to block people from uh, being alcoholics. So it was used to actually help people <laughs> get out of alcoholism. It's called disulfiram. But metronidazole comes and blocks this pathway here. So once it blocks this pathway, we are not going to convert our alcohol into water and CO2 or ATP, or even into acetate, which is the least uh, toxic in the system. Therefore, we will start accumulating acetaldehyde in the system. Once you accumulate acetaldehyde in the system, what will happen to you? You might end up having a hangover for three days, the hot flushes, the rashes on the skin, the nausea and vomiting, the headaches. All these things are coming in as a result of the buildup of acetaldehyde in the system. So therefore, if you're taking alcohol, stay away from metronidazole. That's the reason why you're told in the hospitals, if you're now starting the, or initiating the therapy for metronidazole, please do not go ahead and take alcohol. Because you will suffer the consequences and you will never take the bottle again. So again, this was tapped in. Uh, the, this mode of action was actually tapped in for disulfiram to actually help people overcome alcoholism. So that when you give somebody alcohol and then you give them disulfiram or metronidazole, that prolonged hangover will actually make them quit the alcohol. But that was not the right way of doing it because this can actually bring you more problems in the system because it's highly toxic to the cells. Okay, so that is that should be understood now. There is a concept that uh, our famous uh, Mutudo brought in in Kenya that was for the alcohol on traffic uh, uh, jams or on traffic uh, roadblocks. Alcohol utilizes the same concept. Now remember when you're breaking down alcohol, it's metabolized in the liver and some of it will escape into the lungs and it's exhaled out. That's why when you've, you're drinking alcohol, when you belch, there is that smell of alcohol. So it comes out through your lungs actually and you breathe it out. Now, the percentage of alcohol in your breath in your breath and the percentage of alcohol in your bloodstream are the same so therefore if you inhale in that alcohol blow machine what will happen is that alcohol will reach a certain level in the alcohol blow there's a chemical reaction that is initiated and there's a change in colors and that color will actually show on the alcohol blow that will show if you are totally intoxicated and you cannot drink you cannot drive and that will cause you problems with the traffic police okay so this is how they actually tap into that because the breath has the same concept the same uh, concentration of alcohol like the blood so that is the alcohol blow now alcohol excessive consumption of alcohol or chronic consumption of alcohol apart from it giving you gastritis indigestion and malnutrition it suppresses appetite so badly now when it causes gut problems when it causes suppression of appetite when it causes you indigestion what will happen is you are unable to absorb vitamin b1 
when you are unable to absorb vitamin B1, you end up having a condition called beriberi. Now, this vitamin B1 is necessary in brain development, in nerve function, and therefore, if you end up having low vitamin B1 or vitamin B1 deficiency, you are going to have nerve problems, the numbness, the tingling, sometimes very hot feet or cold feet. You are going to lose memory. Okay, that's why people who, have, who drink alcohol, they can't remember most of the things. You're going to get into psychosis, psychotic conditions and psychotic symptoms are going to come nearby. The liver problems. Also, you're going to get beriberi, which is a deficiency of vitamin B1. So, therefore, please stay away from alcohol. It's not necessary. Okay? And whether it's beer, whether it's wine or whether it's whatever alcohol you're taking, it still has alcohol content. The difference is the percentage or the amount of alcohol in that.